Hello and welcome back to Splatoon 2 in the Octa Expansion. I'm Blue Toad. And let's keep going. Incon, Incoff. Incon, Incoff. Incon, Incon, Incoff. Hypercar Station again. But let's get this Mem token. And then we can just keep going. I feel like after each level you complete, you should just get a Mem token, possibly. Maybe sometimes? But not all the times. I don't know how it would work exactly. But it just makes more sense than what it currently is. Not that it really matters because this is out of date anyway, basically. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Have to use the splat things. Splat switches. I don't think that's what that is called, but anyway. Also, I'm struggling. Struggling. It's fine. Splat bombs? No. Yeah, splat bombs isn't really what I would expect for this. I would have preferred to have burst bombs. Oh, really? Again? It moves back and forth so quickly. I can't really use splat bombs for this. So I guess I'm just gonna. Just gonna have to keep falling off. Why am I struggling at the beginning of the level? <laughs> it's fine. And then I get hit by that, and I fall again. This is not the weapon that I'd recommend using for this level. <laughs> Basically. Please, thank you. Nope. Oh my goodness. Arg, arg! Why is it so quick? I don't know. I don't know why it's so quick. What I do know, though, is I'm gonna throw that over there because that's gonna make me feel a lot better and make things a little bit easier to manage. Okay, there we go. Finally. It should not take that long to do that. Also, hang on. I have to do this now as well. This is not a good. You know what I mean? I really don't like that <laughs> timing. Just gonna hit these. Whenever. Should be fine. I'm just gonna jump. Okay. Can I do that? Maybe? It rolls a lot further than I'd like it to. Well, that didn't work. I don't think I need to keep the switches switched as well. So as long as I get both of them, then it should just be allow me to leave. Except that you're there now. Let's try and, them, try and draw them across. Or something. Please don't hit that switch. Thank you. Go up, up, up. Okay. So, do they actually need to hit the other switch? Well, no, it's fine. Also, I think I probably gotta move into a better position before moving back up. Like that. Okay, let's go. Should we just stay on the platform? Really? Oh, this one. How do I do this one again? Do I just do it? I think I just do it. Quickly. Like that. And then... This is the worst. Why? Who designed this? And what were they thinking? Don't hit that. Up. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this part. I need to take out the mini ones. If I can not get knocked back, I hate the knockback in Splashing. It makes absolutely no sense and it will always kill you. Every time. Also, hang on, you have things on you. It's interesting. Knockback is just the worst in this game. Every Splatoon game with knockback is just not it's just not a good feature for this game. I can understand why you might want it. But I really just don't. Just 
gonna hit all these while it's doing its own thing. Since I need to have all of them hit anyway. Come over here. Hit the ones that you've already got hit. Or aren't activated yet. These are basically just a lot of splat zones. Basically. They work basically the same way, so... I think I said that last time, possibly. There we go. Go, 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 go. Thank you. I'm glad that this level's done. <laughs> to be honest, I'm so glad that it's done. That was just... weird the whole way through. I don't think I had that much trouble last time. So that just... adds to the weirdness of... the struggle there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just still tired from that... battle. That's all the weapons for that then. And that's all of the extra... mem tokens that are available to us right now. So let's go find out what else is available. I should probably just do the, each line at a time. So I can cross them off. Is this a multiplayer map battle thing? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is the Rainmaker. Okay. Rainmaker's interesting because it is strong. But it's very easy to get taken out at the same time. It has to charge as well. To be able to send out its stuff. It's just good to follow along in its track that it leaves behind. Just go. It also has knockback. Just a little bit. I actually have to charge to have the explosion behind me. Also, I have curling bombs. Why aren't I using curling bombs? Because I can't. Right. That would make sense. Making it so far, and I'm still alive somehow. Somehow. Not much longer, though. There's too much knockback. Okay, dokie. Let's make our way back then. Use our curling bombs. Why am I going so slow? I don't know. Just ignore everything. That's the good thing about this level. Don't disappear, don't disappear. Got it, got it, please. Please up, please up. Thank you, there we go. That was a lot of trouble just to get up on that platform. <laughs> you just have to do that level one more time again. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> so fine. I could take the time to take out the enemies, but I don't think it's worth it. Also, well, going back through this again, with the uh, Octa Expansion, it's very well designed in its, like, feel and its... how you get into the levels and how each level works with the different weapons. But I feel like it is missing the overworld feel, which it has in Splatoon 3. Because the Splatoon 3 is just the best of Octo Expansion and the story modes from 1 and 2. Basically, it's just the best. And I don't even know what the DLC for that's going to be like. Please do the explosion. Thank you. If I can get the high ground, I can just explode everything. Speaking of high ground, there's a thing here that I can get, so let's do that. Please. I'm trying to do a bit more combat this time. Also, well, we have auto bomb for this, which is interesting, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it at this point. Also, how are you not hit? Please, get hit. Thank you. Also, isn't there supposed to be a splash wall there? There isn't, though, which is interesting. Okay, nice. I fell down. Just get up, and then we can be done. Didn't even die that time. Pretty good. I like that it doesn't reset, though, if you die. It just continues from where you were, basically. Unless you don't get back to it in time, which is annoying. But I like it that it just doesn't reset completely. It actually means something when you do the stuff without dying. Okay, let's take a look at this one. 
It's the last of the A line, so that's good. It's a little bit of the C line as well. The C line. <laughs> oh, it's an A ball station. Cool. I'm okay with this. Doing different weapons with the A ball stations, I think, is a good idea. And it's a sloshing machine as well, which I'm not great with, but uh, it's, it's, I find it to be an interesting weapon because of how it launches things. Also, that's almost the end of me. Very almost the end of me. Very almost. Up it goes, and now let's send it on its way. Hopefully not to its death and destruction. The sloshing machine feels powerful. If I can actually hit something with it. No! Okay, it's fine. It just seems weird with its angle and its spread. Is all. Also, the eight ball moves weird, I just realized. It kind of moves opposite direction that you hit it, which I guess would make sense for it, what it is. But it just feels so not what I'm expecting. Just move this off here, not like that. Why would you do it like that? Physics and why? Mario physics. Okay. This music is so good. <laughs> I really just need to put on a playlist so I can listen to it. Actually, this place is inspiring me right now. I'm in I feel inspired. I'm gonna look at that after this, though. Oh, there it goes. I think I'm probably gonna also try and spend some time taking you out. There we go. It's gonna end a lot better for me. Just overall. Don't jump off the edge. Thank you. That was close. Why does it do that? I don't know. Anyway. Send it that way. I feel like this is going to be a lot more interesting with the, the weapon for this. That worked. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Why? Enemies, why? Also, where'd the block go? It's fine. Just restart from the checkpoint. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I'm just bad. You know what? Maybe I'm just bad. Also, it's interesting that the goop in this has that interesting texture on it. Because that's kind of what they... Intro... Oh, really? The different... Uh, multi-text... Like, multi-colored... Goo slash ink. I really like that. I'm glad that that the like the different ink styles that they've put into Splatoon games so far. I, I really like. Even like the oh really, I just did that three times in a row. Even the like sparkly ink, I think looks good. Just to have something different. I just wish that you could have a bit more control over it. Maybe eventually, but not not now, I don't think. It's a little bit difficult to, like, choose what ink color you are. And have it make sense. That was close. <laughs> Very close. Uh, let's try and be smart about this. Oh, very smart about this. I might just push it. As long as they don't spawn anything in, I should be fine. Okay, there we go. Launch! Well, there it goes, on its own. Never gonna see it again. Maybe. Or maybe I will. It's fine. I'll just take these out, because I don't need to worry about the thing, I don't think, anymore. Or maybe I do. It's kind of doing its own thing at this point, though. No, I don't need it. I can just go. No, I do need it. I need it to get to the end. Ah, that's a shame. Hang on. Let's 
so I'm almost, almost going the way that I wanted to. Thank you. And let's go. Okay, that's all of the A line. Now let's take a look at the B line, which might take a little bit longer. Grind it out. I think this is a uh, yeah, pop all the balloons, which will be interesting. I'm not sure how to feel about these levels. If I do well in them, I like them. But if I am I if I'm really struggling with them, I really don't like them as much <laughs> because it just feels annoying. I should be alright though. It's a little bit stressful, but we have the bamboozler for this, so that should be good. I feel like there are a lot of generic balloon popping levels in Splatoon 3. Like it's all sunset, you know, the grind rails, have to pop the balloons. I feel like there's like a few of those that just feel generic because of how many there are. That don't have that much variation to them. It feels like they need something else, but I don't um, know what that would be exactly. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, that was close. It almost needs like enemies or something to make them more interesting. But again, how do you do that? How do you do enemies on an automated section? And have them still be effective because they're more more than likely to miss. Actually, what it really needed was the targets that you don't want to shoot, maybe. Because there, there are so many targets that you do have to shoot that when the targets that you're not supposed to shoot appear, you don't have to think about it as much. I don't know. It's fine. I enjoy I still enjoyed it, so please don't die. There we go. I'm going to have so many CQ points by the end of this. <laughs> Which I guess I could just spend them on items, so... Alright, I need to go back there. I forgot. I wonder if there's a pattern to which levels have more weapons. Like, maybe they're the ones that overlap with different tracks, maybe? Like, I'm almost sure that that might actually be a thing, but I don't think it is, because I think there are just random levels that have more weapons. They almost need, like, a, a marker to show that how many of the... Like, if it's gold or silver cult completion or something like that for each level on the map. Okay. I mean, it only matters to completionists to whether or not it has markers to show how much of it is completed in terms of ver weapon variation. Okay. Let's go. I like the windiness of this level, how it overlaps itself a lot. It has like all the rails everywhere. That's just cool. It'd actually be really cool if you actually went back on the rail somewhere. And then like, jumped off of it to a different rail that unlocks at that point. If I was the designer, <laughs> that's what I'd do basically. Well, so I don't need to hit that from here, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's easier. I like how much extra range this weapon has. It's pretty good. Pretty decent. Don't have to worry that much. Probably the best weapon to actually go through that level with. Also, no, I'm definitely wrong about the overlapping thing because this level has and it, it's not even connected and yeah, these ones don't even have anything. Yeah, it's it's all random. Anyway. Although I'm sure going through all of the extra weapon stuff is gonna take some time. Rapid Blaster Pro, and Splat Bombs. I'm- I still want to have different versions of combinations 
uh, of the ink rail splash or grind rails combined with uh, subs sub weapons like one like it'd just be cool to have I don't know I don't know how to explain it so like let's 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 pick a, a, a sub weapon for a second uh, I don't know what to think about <laughs> I don't know I'm, I, I can't think about it and play at the same time like a splash rail would be cool where it's a splash wall but it's all, like you throw your splash rail or splash wall at a rail and it becomes a splash rail. What's, where's this block going? Is it supposed to be down here? Am I stuck? No, it, goes, it needs to hit this one. Okay. Different thing entirely. Like if you threw your splash wall a splash, uh, ride rail or something like that or grind rail and became a splash rail, that'd be cool. Uh, but like if you threw a splat bomb at the rail, the whole rail would just ex explode after a second or something like that. Or maybe it would go uh, like in a row or something like each section of the rail just explodes separately one by one or something. Or maybe in like the burst bomb maybe is that but all at once. And like the sprinkler rail if it just kept sprinklering. There are so many different like ways I think that would work. Combining the sub weapons with ink rails or grind rails. I don't know about grind rails as much, but maybe it, I think it would have to be ink rails. Okay, here we go. And maybe auto bomb explodes the rail if somebody's nearby. I think they could also have some really interesting maps designed around that. But I think it would have to be a special version of the ink route that allows it to do that. Specifically. Because I think that some ink rails wouldn't make sense for that. Let me think, what's something else that I'd like? What's what's another like um there's the the lines? I don't know how it would work with the line one. Uh there's the the spawn jump thing. I can't remember what what it's actually called, the one that you jump to when you place it down. I mean, that could work, but like for the whole of the rail, you can choose where to jump in. Or maybe it just lasts longer or something, I don't know. Uh, what's the other one that I'm thinking about? The one that shows you what the enemies, where the enemies are, what they're doing. Like it extends the range of that, so the that whole area kind of has the effect around it. Also, this is a heavyweight roller. Interesting. It's a bit slow. Like, it just extends the range of some things I think would be a good idea for it. For some of the sub-weapons. Ow, 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 ah, ah! I'm trying to think, is there any other sub-weapons? I don't think so, but I could be wrong, so... I think again. He uses up so much ink. It's incredible. But that's my idea, basically, for special ink rails. Oh, really? I don't think I could reach that from where I was. Also, isn't that the platform that I was just on that moves in place? Yeah, it is. I didn't realize that for some reason. Which means I can just go around on it when this doesn't work. Which inevitably won't work, so I'm just... It's fine. I'm not mad. Go, 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 go. So slow with this weapon. I feel like I did alright with the other weapon for this. But this is just slow. Also need to recharge my ink a little bit before going up. Because of you. Ruining everything. Enemy. CQ points. Okay. 
Nice, that was satisfying. Very satisfying. And what about else I could think of that I would add to Splatoon if I could? Probably like, um... So you know like the entrance to the story mode in each game? Like imagine that. But that's just a regular thing in a multiplayer map. Okay, you have that picture? And now imagine that whenever you go inside of it, it doesn't take you anywhere, but you just stay there. Like a event, basically, but you don't have to... Hang on. It's like a vent where you can just kind of hide on the map, but you don't have to worry about dying. I don't know if that would really work, because normally it's good to just be able to not be able to hide. But I'd be interested to see if that would work or not in multiplayer maps and all that. Uh, anyway, this is also going to be very difficult to time, but it's fine. Okay, cool. I was very worried about that, because it's a slow weapon to just shoot out with. Anyway. Okay. Going back to the different rails things though, like imagine you like have a map that's designed around like one rail that goes to the middle and when you have that middle area, you can put a sprinkler onto it or something like a, or a splash wall and it kind of changes the way that the, the map works. Although that might be very difficult for the opponents to actually take control of again. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of thoughts that come into play with this. It needs a lot more thought put into it, so... But I think it's an idea that could work eventually, maybe. Just gonna take you out. This is a decent weapon. It's a very consistent weapon. It's got to even spread somewhat. I would say it's the best, though. But it's certainly interesting. Especially if it actually hits its opponent. Like that. That was really good. Very interesting. Can I, by any chance... I can't see where I'm shooting right now, which makes this difficult. That's fine. Take you out, please. Thank you. Just stay alive. Just stay alive. Never mind. I don't even know what shot me just then. I should also probably use the bowler. Like, just use it. How dare you. Gonna need it further in because the the last part of this is the tricky part. Why knockback? I hate knockback so much in this game. I hate the knockback so much. It doesn't make any sense. It will always kill you. Always. Okay, recover, recover, recover. Doc the the knockback is just overpowered for some reason. Too strong. Trying to recover some of this ink. Somewhat. Heard that. Just gonna chill here for a second. I'm glad that that's okay for that amount of time. It's all fine, 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 it's fine, 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 fine. And just stay alive. Just stay alive. I can't shoot you. Why can you shoot me? Don't knock back me. Don't knock back me. Why did you knock back me? Why knock back? Why? Oh, it's fine. It's all fine. I just need to grab the special again and jump quickly. Why? Ah, knock back. I hate it. I can understand why it's there, but I hate it so much. Oh my goodness, grab. Never mind. This is gonna be a fail. I'm pretty sure this is a fail. Unless I can get to the end with this right now, which is doubtful. Because I have to actually take out the enemies a little bit. But if, although I think the enemies in this level keep respawning. Which is the tricky part about it. Take that, please. Thank you. Oh, really, 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 Wait, did you just fall into the... How? Well, I guess I win. <laughs> Yay! 
Victory. Random victory for no reason. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's fine. Knockback. Knockback. Oh, imagine if, like, you, the, the, the sub-weapon where you throw it and it's like a line of whatever it is. Like, if it's spread out from all of the, the rail, like a spike ball thing, that'd be interesting. But it's like a spike ball of points. Needles. I don't know. Anyway, that is it for now, though, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.